Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Alex Freeman's Dinosaur Discoveries. Last week I, well actually, I'm doing two videos a week now because of how many species I'm going to produce out into YouTube. So be prepared, I'm going to put out so much dino information it's going to make your head explode. So today's creature will be the Pristorachnaphus. Very confusing name, I know, and it sounds very confu- uh, well, difficult to say, and I will admit that, but trust me, this one's gonna be real interesting to hear. Yeah, so, Pristorognaphus. As you can see, it's a, a Pharapsid. Uh, basically a group of creatures that became like the Smilodon. I, I mean, look at it! Um. Sometimes when I see Pharapsids, I mean, that's a cool name to say, but when I see Pharapsids, they look like, I don't know, some sort of a mix between um, a Smilodon and a Homliosaurus. That's my art right there for the Homliosaurus, if you're looking at it. So, yeah, it's like a mix between the two, really. A reptile and a cat. I guess it's kind of sort of like that. And it's kind of cool. It's cool. It's cool. I will say. Really radical, really. Pristorognaphus. I've always been fascinated with the synapsids, anapsids, and uh, synapsids. Did I say one of them twice? Ah, it doesn't matter. Anyway, I've always been fascinated by them because I've always wondered, what would have happened if they didn't die out in the Permian extinction? Would they have evolved into higher species? Would they have developed technology that we hadn't developed yet? It's very possible. I mean, the the evolution is unfathomable. Just like with the dinosaurs, you never know. Um, if certain moments of extinction didn't happen, where would the evolution lead, huh? We might not have even evolved in the first place, or even monkeys for that matter. Uh, and something else would have come in our place. Although it's pretty, it's pretty close that the Pharapsids might have evolved similar to us. It's possible. And, uh, oh, I'm afraid this is getting to the near end of what we're doing right now. So, for next week, I believe we will be doing uh, a creature from the Ice Age period. Yes, yes. So... What to say now? Oh yeah, apologies for not doing it on Monday. And uh, I hope you're there to see more of Alex Freeman's Dinosaur Discoveries. So see you later, boys and girls.